In this video, we're going to take a look at what I call fun features on the RTB2000. And these are things that um, might make it a little bit simpler to work with or um, have some kind of unique capabilities for this class of instrument. Uh, one of my favorites is something that we call a pullout menu. And so let's say that you're constantly changing your memory depth. And instead of coming into the acquisition menu and then selecting the memory depth here, what you can do is you can actually grab the waveform with your finger or with a mouse and you can pull it out. And when you pull it out, it'll actually sit it out here on the waveform graticule. And you can now come in and very quickly change to different memory depths. Um, you can move this around if you want it in a different spot. Um, and so you can do this with a bunch of different um, capabilities. And another one is, let's say that you're constantly changing between the 20 megahertz bandwidth limit um, and the full bandwidth. And of course you can do that from touching down here in the on the channel menu, but you can also pop that out. And so uh, where it says bandwidth here, I can pop that out and you'll notice when you get the little blue bar that comes out, um, that's when you can see that you can pop that out. So we could also pop coupling out, those types of things. And so it makes it very quickly, uh, very easy to quickly come in and change those different features. And of course, if you want to delete them, you can delete them individually or you can delete all of them at the same time. Another feature that I like is um, being able to change the uh, color of the um, waveform and so to do that you go under the channel menu and as you scroll down you'll see that it has waveform color and the default menu is going to be the monochromatic but of course then you can change the temperature fire or rainbow and let's say we select rainbow on this one you can see that it colorizes the um, display and if you come in and then change your um, intensity you can see that it'll actually change the buckets that the um, signals fall into so you'll get different color grading based on um, what uh, how you set the intensity for the waveform another one that I like is annotation so you can come in and say something like um, select a red marker highlight that and then save that screenshot and send that off to somebody um, you can also come in and if you want you can actually add text um, for the annotation as well um, it makes it very easy to add information that you might want somebody to look at um, when you're actually documenting and saving things off and then one of my other favorite ones is this idea of an undo button and let's say that you do something that you didn't mean to and you're not exactly sure what you did but it changed the way that the waveform was and you want to go back to where um, to what it was before uh, so for example I'll go ahead and slide the waveform over um, perhaps you accidentally do that when you're touching the display etc this undo right here makes it very simple to then come in and say oh nope undo that move it back to where it was um, so those are just some of kind of the cool fun features um, inside of the RTB 2000 that you might not normally find in this class of instrument.